For 50 years, Bag Boy golf carts have been a name associated with quality and durability. The satisfaction level of our customers has created an unpaid sales force that happily directs their friends and fellow golfers to where our quality product can be found. Our facility in Milwaukee, Oregon has been the home of Bag Boy for the past 27 years. The first 21 years were spent in Portland, Oregon, about seven miles northeast of our current location. E. Roy Jarman and Bruce Williamson were the principals at the inception of the company. Williamson knew aluminum from his years with Reynolds, and Jarman brought financing and management skills to the partnership. Their first cart was a mixture of lawnmower wheels, bent and shaped steel, and some very labor-intensive processes. But as time progressed, so did their product. The first one to incorporate die-cast aluminum parts rolled off the assembly line in 1949. The rest, they say, is history. And that history has been built on this production line since the earliest years of the company. One of the first operations is the key to the soft ride enjoyed by Bag Boy owners. At this station, spring steel is added to the die cast side rod to absorb bumps. The axles and necessary springs are also installed here. The center section is one of the reasons for the strength and durability of the carts. It is this part of the cart that receives the most constant stress, whether being pulled, pushed, or just stored. PVC tires on our die-cast wheel have proved to be very popular with our customers due to the hundreds of rounds of golf that each set provides. Those of our customers who have had to replace a worn set of tires have found it very easy, even without our tire stretching machine. How and where the aluminum tubing is bent and punched can mean the difference between balanced and unbalanced, strengthened or weakened, as well as the general overall feel of the finished product. The correct installation of the grip and receiver are essential to the completed cart. The final assembly includes the attaching of the wheels to the center section assembly, adding the pre-strung brackets to the back shaft, joining the center section assembly to the back shaft, installing the handle assembly and applying all labeling just prior to being placed in the cart. The end product is placed into finished goods for order fulfillment. The rental cart line is basically a kitting function where parts from primary and secondary operations are placed into boxes containing enough parts for either two or four completed rental carts. The final assembly is handled by the golf course where the product will be used. The company's only warehouse services the cart needs of the world. Ten distinctly different carts are stored here. Bag Boy is a market leader in the cart business and recent changes in consumer demand have been met by including lightweight carts at lower price points. Four of these easily assembled carts are offered in colors, and four are offered in private label versions for our larger accounts. Most of the carts are moved via 48-foot trailers. The remainder are shipped UPS or RPS. Whether it is tires, bearings, brackets, tubing, or a myriad of other items, this area is able to meet our customers' needs with an average turnaround time of three days and a 96% fill rate. The parts area is continually looking for ways to improve on these numbers. UPS and RPS are the main vehicle for fulfilling the needs of our customers that call on us looking for parts for their carts that may be as old as 40 years. Bag Boy is proud of its ability to support spares and repair most of the carts we have built. An integral part of our service to customers is the speedy processing of returns, repairing carts for those customers who choose to send them in rather than repair the cart themselves, as well as all warranty repairs. It is fairly common to see repairs being done on carts 20, 30, or even 40 years old. The reason that carts last so long is that our carts are given a rigorous test on our test track to ferret out weakness in design. By using this track, we've been able to identify ways to strengthen our designs, anticipate field problems, and increase customer satisfaction. After all, where would we be without them?